I'm here in Medjugorje in the cold. Isn't it freezing cold? <laughs> Absolutely, yes. And uh, <laughs> especially for you guys, where are you from? I'm from Brazil. And you? As well. As well from Brazil. Yes. Uh, what's your name? Luisa. Luisa and? Thailani. Okay, and you said first time for you in, Medjug in Medjugorje? Mine, yes. Yours? Yeah. First time as well? Or? No, no, the second, second time. Second time. Why do you come back? Because I believe here so much, this is why I go back. <laughs> Always come back. Yeah. You feel our lady is here? Yes, all the time. <laughs> why? Can you describe it to somebody who does not know about Medjugorje? Why is our lady here? Oh, I can feel it in the art, everywhere, in, can, in the people, in yeah. the street. I can feel it just in the air. can feel lady here. That she is here. Yeah. And what is your favorite spot in Medjugorje? At the church, I think the church, so. the church. The church yeah. is powerful. Yeah. For you, it's the church as well. Yes. Well, we climbed the uh, apparition the, hill. Uh, the apparition hill. Yeah. Today, and it was this peaceful uh, feeling up there. It's just quite magical, and we saw this amazing view today. Yeah. It was a beautiful sunset. It was amazing. Wait for the bus. Yeah. Uh, it was just really beautiful the climb is very challenging for many people and mm -hmm. when you get up there it's just totally worth it mm -hmm. to climb up there and we went to two masses services today and yes and uh, both of them they were really powerful one of them was in creation i think yeah and even though we didn't understand a thing <laughs> it was just really moving all the time it's just the people they mm -hmm. they all help you they're all spiritually with you all the time and it's just a really good feeling in general you don't have mm -hmm. to understand anything to feel it wow and for you always you have been catholic or you have a conversion and you came no, back to the I faith am, yes I, I i was catholic for many born and, and all the, the time yes. you yeah. never went away into the world why <laughs> what is so beautiful about the faith for you you are young you could go out make discotheque and you know oh uh, I think this is not funny for me. I I prefer pray. Mm -hmm. I I believe this when you pray, mm -hmm. you can bring more stuff for your heart, young know, man as well. I don't need this to go out for bring this tank. Yes, so beautiful. And what what is so beautiful? I see you have a relationship with God, with Christ, <laughs> with Our Lady. See it in your eyes. Uh -huh. How can somebody has this relationship? What would you tell them? You pray the rosary every day. I think it's. Just Good mm -hmm. way for you to get that. And is it for you like prayer? Is like like you just talk to like a friend? Yes. And you get answer? Yes, all the time. In yeah. the heart, or how in do you the get heart, the answer? Every time when you ask my angel, mm -hmm. you can give him the answer sometimes. Yes, the guardian angel. That's yes. what Padre Pio said. Yeah. Ask your angel and yes. be grateful for your guardian angel. Yeah. No. And for you, yes. you have this. I, yes, with my guardian angel. Yes, I actually bought this little bell today. Yeah. To remember, <laughs> always to pray. Sound <laughs> yeah. To call your angel, supposedly, uh, but I talk to my angel all the time as well, and mm -hmm. he answers me in dreams, sometimes mm -hmm. in intuitions. It's mm -hmm. not really clear the message sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I realize I missed it. Mm -hmm. um, but he's all, he, well, not only the guardian angel, but Jesus, Jesus and Mary. And Mary, they're all talking to you all the time. It's just a, a, a matter of you realizing what the message is and. Mm -hmm. Realizing the little signs. It's sometimes it's, it's a song in the radio. Sometimes it's somebody bumps into you and tells you something, yeah. and you realize it's God there. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a matter of choosing to see the signs. Yeah, absolutely, and open up the heart. Yes, no? be uh, open to see the signs. I and, think and, that's the most important thing. And talk to like a friend to Jesus. No. Yes, absolutely. Um, I think it's very true when people say that you can only. You can only see it when you have faith. You cannot see it without having faith mm -hmm. because it's it's all linked together. Yeah. So you see it because you have faith. Yes. And if you don't have faith yet and you don't understand, just ask and you will receive. It's very simple, Catholic yes, faith. Yes. I want to understand what these guys are talking about. Somebody listening now doesn't understand this. Yes. Just ask, no? Yes. It's, it's quite complicated when you don't have the faith. I've been there before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've been Catholic my entire life, but not really practicing my entire life. Mm -hmm. it's, it's quite recent, actually. Um, what happened? <coughs> well, it's quite a long story, actually. Uh, but yeah, I went to another peri 
peregrination? Um, um, you say um, denomination. Do you know that denomination? You went like to a Protestant free no, church? No, or no, no, no. Uh, uh, um, uh, per, um, p- pilgrimage. Pilgrim? No, pilgrimage. 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 Where yes. did you go? Where did you uh, go? I went to Fatima. And? Portugal, and Lourdes. And Lourdes. And, Lourdes. and what happened? Uh, well, we were following this Brazilian spiritual leader. We uh-huh. call him Pedro Siqueira. Uh-huh. And he sees angels and Mary. Uh-huh. And I didn't believe it at first. But A then Catholic? I went along. Yes, yes. Yeah. I went along and we saw many miracles. Uh-huh. It was undeniable. Mm-hmm. And I was I was the one who saw it without having faith, <laughs> and then I I was like, okay, I, ha- I can't that's, I can't really deny what I saw. I mean, that's what Jesus right said. No, He yes. said you need miracles to believe. That's what yes. He's saying in the Bible. No. Yes. What did absolutely. you see? Can you explain a bit, a little yes. bit what happened well, there? Yes. We saw the sun miracle, as we call it, uh-huh. um, and huh? we saw also the guardian angels. Not yeah in body we saw like balls of light yeah. everywhere uh-huh. they were following us uh-huh. through the hills um but the most beautiful one was the sun miracle for sure it, it, it was, was spinning like um, like here in Medjugorje or what um, happened to the sun no mi- it was something like the sun would go uh instead of a ball it would go like this and uh-huh. then up there like a cross yes like a cross uh-huh. um and then it would change colors it would turn red where like was that red. in Fatima or in Lourdes or in Fatima in Fatima up yeah Lourdes. yeah and it would yeah. become like the holy bread. Yeah, the the Eucharist. Yes, yes, the Eucharist. And what happened then? You started to believe. You went yes, to confession. It was crazy because it was bright summer. Yeah. In Portugal, and we could look at the sun for minutes without burning our eyes. That was already already a miracle. Absolutely. It was crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, but it would, it would. You just feel this peace. It's. Something you can't get anywhere else, honestly. So you have to, or you all have to go to Fatima as well. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Fati- Fatima is my favorite place. And if I can ask, then, at one point, I guess you went to confession, no? Yes, today, actually. Today, yes. tell tell the people. A lot of people are scared to go to confession. Maybe 20, 30 years, people come to Medjugorje and they go to confession. What is the beauty of confession for you? Um, I gotta say that I struggle with confession as well, mm-hmm. honestly. But I realize it's really important to confess um, because it's like the priest told us today. He explained <laughs> the beautiful, <laughs> the, the beauty of confession today, actually. And? Uh, and he said basically that um, it's the renewal of God's uh, dying on the cross purpose. The purpose of the cr- Jesus crying on the cross for us because we say that he died for us and then he cleared all of our sins in the Uh cross so why why you have to confess Uh again and again well Uh you have to renew yeah that that uh that compromise no that that sacrament or um yes the sacrifice you have to renew that sacrifice yeah uh he made for us all that time so it's just like you're updating it you're updating that sacrifice and to al- our daily lives. And also appreciating the sacrifice. Absolutely. No? It's a way for you to sacrifice yourself mm-hmm. as a exchange, so to say. And what happened after you? You felt more peace? Or how do you feel after? It depends, honestly. It depends. Uh-huh. Sometimes I do feel a lot of more peace. Sometimes uh-huh. it's just normal. Uh-huh. Sometimes uh, you just feel like you're worthy uh-huh. to receive the miracles that or the peace that you feel, then you're worth to, uh, you're worthy. And you feel more healing. clean, you can hear, yes. hear better. Yes, yes, you can. You can um, the Spirit, Holy Spirit, the yes. Our Lady Jesus. The, the power, yeah. the power and, the, and the feeling of spiritual connection with yeah. everyone else is just more there. It Cleansing. More, yes, it deepens that feeling that here in the holy place, yeah. you feel a lot more all the time. Wow, amazing. Yeah. And for you, you go to confession, I guess, no? Yes, yes. And what is confession for you? Uh, just, what would you say? I feel like when you talk to God yeah. and can explain my fault, uh-huh. everything. So it beautiful. Is, yeah, is somebody else can listen to you and it say, oh, is you are in the good way, you are not the good way, you can change your life or can change this point here. This is good. I think this is the best part when you want to something feel very good or something in your heart, mm-hmm. you go there and I just just for confess your fault, this is okay. <laughs> That's liberating, no? Oh, yeah. And you feel free. Exactly. Joyful. 
<laughs> I see. Did you go to confession today as well? No, no. Uh, not Jesus yet. Was, uh, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Jesus But I see you are shining. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we should. We should shine. No, that's that's yeah. that's what we, we should love. No, that's the best yes. best lifestyle. Jesus said, "Love." No. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, you pray the rosary? Yes, every day. Why? Because I believe it is so much. Yeah. I I make the promise for my Mary. Yeah. For Madonna, because I pray the rosary every day. And when I put this in my yeah. my scope here, mm -hmm. I promise it to her that. You always pray the rosary. Yeah. And did something happened, a healing or No. Uh, for your mom. Uh, for my mom, for my family. Uh-huh. Uh, when I start go to church, uh, I really uh, want to change my life. Uh -huh. And with, with, did every time you get one step more, huh. one step more, you feel life change. Everything, your family, your friend, in your in your work, uh, everything is when you pray and you have like more feel like a god your friend uh -huh. you see this change this positive change in them yes and you pray for them as well no yeah i saw it too it's amazing <laughs> same same experience for you um yes i don't pray the rosary every day uh -huh. but um i do feel a lot of difference when i started going to church more well, practice it more uh -huh. uh, mainly in my work uh, study life it mm -hmm. helped a lot mm -hmm. um, because it's a bit like when you talk to god as a friend It's just, it's not exactly, but the closest thing I can think of is like going to therapy without having someone to judge you. It's just like therapy, but no one actually, a, a person, a man yeah. actually listen to you, a human, right? A human being yeah. uh, there to judge you. It's something more deep where you can actually talk, talk about your things without feeling guilty about it. And, w and when you do, you confess and yeah. then it's fine. So um, it's really good because you can do that anywhere, anytime. You can choose the best moment of your day to do it. And sometimes people start by just practicing gratitude. And I think that's a really good way to connect to God too, because well, everything you're in your life comes from God. Either you believe it or not, it, it does. So um, you should just be thankful for it. And it's a, I think it's a really good way to start. And you feel also when you think that, you f that you're suddenly more happier? Yeah, absolutely. The yes. mood changes yes. directly? Absolutely, yes. Because yes. you're yes. grateful? Yes, yes. My recent challenge is to be grateful for my uh, obstacles. Yeah. Those are hard. <laughs> Those but, are harder but to be grateful for, but sure. it helps. But it helps do you understand? The, the, did you? Yeah, it makes uh, overcome them, and you understand that you get closer through these obstacles to God. That's there to bring you, purify you, to bring you closer to Him. Yes, yes. That's the way um, you see it as well. Yes. Well, not not hundred percent, mm -hmm. but yeah. um, I know that God has a plan for everyone, uh -huh. and sometimes that plan is not exclusively related it's related to the church yeah so sometimes the priest is a priest because his calling is for the church but people have callings for other areas and so they have to overcome obstacles in those areas not only spiritual er obstacles but god puts them there for mm. you to evolve in many areas not only spiritual ones yes um but of course the spiritual battle is it, it's the base for everything so mm. if you don't overcome your demons mm -hmm. inside yourself The demons outside will overcome you. Yeah. So, yeah. And that, that spiritual battle, you overcome it by prayer? How, how do you cope with it? Yes, by prayer, uh -huh. um, going to the church, uh, to the mass, to service, talking with my family, that also helps a lot. Um, and to my therapist, because I also go to therapy, because Good. that's important. Yes, um, to clean up, to have somebody, yes. it's like spiritual guidance. Yeah, sometimes to have a an ans clear answer is good. Sometimes. Yes. <laughs> right, because God speaks in mysterious ways, and sometimes you need a really clear answer, and sometimes yeah. you can't really wait for a clear answer from God, because maybe that's not the time for you to receive a clear answer. Mm -hmm. do, right. do you have the, 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 the experience when you live in the divine will, and when you say, your will be done in my life, that you have more peace and joy, when you live yes. in that intention? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, you too? Absolutely. When you say, I want to live in you, I will be done in my life, you have more peace and joy? Yes. You're living it, I can see it in the eyes here. That's <laughs> <laughs> very clearly. And at the end, what would you tell people, why come to Medjugorje? Why? You can, if you want, can feel the Mary 
come here, can feel like her, give it like a hug, a <laughs> kiss. I can like just feel her. Actually, this is a good opportunity to feel this here. Yeah. And for you, Metzogoya? <sighs> So okay. far, two days? So far, yeah, yeah. it's not been too, too long, but uh, I could clearly feel her um, all oh. the time around us, following us through the hill, following us around the church, being inside the church with us. Uh -huh. And sometimes when you're on your knees praying in the middle of the mess, I, I don't know other people, everyone has a different experience, but I could feel like, like a warmth on my, on my head. Mm -hmm. And I liked, I'd like to believe that's, that was... The Mary Holy Spirit yes. through Mary, you know? Yes. She's the container of the Holy Spirit. Yes. She's the spouse of the Holy Spirit, that you know? She was holding up my head. And sometimes I can feel different things. Maybe sometimes on my hands, sometimes on my back, sometimes on my head. Mm -hmm. It depends on how, how well am I coping with the moment. If I'm really engaged, if I'm just praying, just to pray, it doesn't really work. It has, Must it be has, from it the has heart. To be, yes, it has to be a prayer from the heart. And it feels different and it feels better and happier and you just get out a after the service or after the activity just feeling a lot better mm -hmm. and happier and more connected wow thank you so much for that thank beautiful you interview you too okay. <laughs>